All right, treasure chart treasure for Forest Haven. What do we got? I don't even know. I'm so excited though. I'm so excited. Okay. It's taking forever to pull out of the water. This ocean's so deep, man. It's just so deep. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh my God! We got a piece of art! Ah! Ah! I was wanting a piece of art! I'm so happy! Attacking two cans here. Welcoming you back to let's play Wind Winker Legend of Zelda Wind Winker. All right, map fish. What do you got for me? What's this island called? Open up my sea chart. I'll open up my sea chart for you mm. All right, and this is Cliff Plateau Isles Isles that reminds me of a grocery store map fish. You're so stupid. This isn't a grocery store It's an island Stupid bitch fish. All right, so this is Cliff Plateau Island. Speaking of plateaus, um, when I was in seventh grade, I remember doing a social studies project over Madagascar, and I made this board game, and it was actually really cool. Um, and in the middle of the board game, there was a big plateau that I made out of cardboard. And I pretty much just made a really cool, like, Madagascar island, and there was different themes. I remember my teacher liked it so much that he, like, kept it in his classroom. And I'm not sure if it's still there today. I'm not even sure if he still teaches at that junior high. But, um, I remember going a few years later and still seeing it in there, so he must have really liked it. Or he just had a big crush on me, and, you know, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't, right? 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 All right, so, um... This room in here is a really cool room, except I have no clue what these things are. All I know is it's really cool, and it reminds me of a fancy sushi restaurant. Like, I just... Does. It is going to a sushi restaurant and see these, like, fancy things floating in, like, a little decorative pond. You know. Alright. What are these walnuts doing? Or deku nuts, or whatever these are. My throat. One second. Ah, uh, sorry. My throat is kind of attacking my whole entire body right now. I sort of have a sore throat, but it's not like sore, just like sore, sore. How do I explain it? Like it's only sore if I eat or drink something, which kind of sucks. Maybe I'll lose weight from not wanting to eat because it hurts my throat or probably not. I am so addicted to eating. It's not even funny. All right. So let's go ahead and drop inside here. Uh, uh, don't touch me. Tentacle rape, tentacle porn. This is like the plot to any Japanese porno. Ugh, oh, joy pendant. Fuck my life. Oh my god, all my fucks. Wait, I don't have any. Oh yeah, I forgot. Alright, so let's go ahead and get out of this room. And I really like this room because of the fact that it connects these two islands underground. Because as you see, when we leave this room, we'll appear on the other island, or plateau, I guess. And we'll be above ground. So let's go ahead and burn that and fly across. Woo! Let's go ahead and rise. How the fuck does light pick Link up? It's like Jesus light. Pick me up, Jesus light. Oh, cool rock. Cool rock. Your tree. You guys are also bad at gardening. It's not even funny. All right, so what do we got up here? I see a treasure chest and a bush that needs to die. And there's also blue chew that I'm gonna kill first. Hello, blue chew. Gonna kill you like I kill all your brethren and sisterin and fatherin and motherin and grandpa and, and grandma in and auntin and uncle in and cousin in and we got a treasure chart. Open your C chart. Then press Y to check your charts. When you open this chart, a place where treasure lies will be lit up. Sail to that area, then use the chart to find the treasure. All right, sounds cool. Okie dokie, so I think that's mostly all we can do on this island. And then also, real fast, there is a platform right over there in the distance, so I will meet you guys over there. Oh my god, what the fuck? There's a whiz rope here? What? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. Die, oh shit! Okay, this is not, this is not fun and games. This is serious business, guys. All the serious business. Wizrobes, and there's two of them? This is like overkill. It's just a platform. 
Okay, these I can't I'll target onto them because there's all these other guys around here. Holy crap, how many of these things are there? I guess they're just teleporting everywhere. Holy shit. Die! Did I hit two guys in one hit? Two birds with one stone. Do you, okay. I'm happy fire arrows take them out in one hit. Oh. Dude, that was that was crazy shit. Is there any cannons on this one? There's not. Thank God. I don't want to do that stuff. No, I probably could have. Oh my God, open the chest. So stupid. And Bokubaba seed. Fucks. All of my fucks. They're flying around like butterflies in the air. Oh no, birds are eating them all. All right, now we're going to be heading north to the next island. Now we haven't 100 percent of this island yet because there's still a treasure chart treasure to get. But we'll be able to 100% it later once we find the treasure chart treasure. Alright. And the wizards are back because I accidentally played the song of passing the first time instead of the wind song. <sighs> okay, next stop, and I see a treasure chart treasure. Alright, what do we got? Ooh. <laughs> Link is so fascinated. Link, you're like a dog. Squirrel! Okay. Silver rupee. We're never gonna run out of rupees. Some people said I spent too much at the auction in Windfall. I don't think it matters because since we're 100%ing this game, there was like no chance of us not having enough rupees to finish this. And Mapfish, one second. Okay, Mapfish, what you got for me? This is... Bird's Peak Rock. Bird's Beak Cock. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so Bird's Peak Rock is one of the few islands on this game that requires you to use your, um, yoy pears. And also, real fast, I think we can get up here to get a blue chew. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So get out our grappling hook and let's go ahead and go up there. What's in there? It's like a jail cell. I wonder, is that where Al Capone lives? Remember a long time ago, I read a, um, I read a book and it was called, like, like, something about, like, Al Capone's pants or something. Like, who washes Al Capone's pants? It was the stupidest book I've ever read. And I don't even know. But it was, like, it wasn't even about Al Capone. It was about living on Alcatraz. And pff, I don't even know. I can't really remember any details. Except that it was stupid. All right, what does the sign say? To reach Thorn Fairy Island, head north. Oh, fuck that. I think we haven't even been there, have we? That's the one fairy island we haven't got the upgrade from. So let's go ahead and get out our Hoyoi pair. Oh, we also had to use one of these on Nita Rock Island, didn't we? Okay, and so we just need to hit all the switches and all these peaks. So it's just kind of difficult because they're all guarded by these birds. So hopefully we won't fuck up. And oh, can I go up high enough? Damn it, I missed it. Dude, this is going to be bad news everywhere. Luckily, oh fuck, I'm missing them all. All right, while I'm doing this, I can go ahead and do a couple more question and answers. Um, let's see. It's going to be hard to read this at the same time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please don't hit me. You didn't even move. You fuck. All right, somebody asks, what's the most gruesome death you've ever witnessed in a video or movie or a video game? Um, the most gruesome death I've ever seen was in Saw 7, where this dude's wife literally gets cooked alive. Like, not just set on fire. She gets put into a gigantic, like, oven. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! And, like, the fire goes underneath the oven, so it literally just heats up the oven, and she can't get out. And so she's literally just cooked alive, so it takes, like, a lot longer for her to die. And you watch her, like, skin, like, get cooked, just like regular food. Ugh, it was awful. Can I please hit this? All these birds are in my personal space. They're in my bubble. They're up in my bubble, and they're looking for trouble. Okay. So that's a millionaire song, I think. Okay, there's one more switch that I've missed like four times. Can I hit it this time, please? Now am I too low now? Okay, here it is. One more. Yes, thank you. All right. Now let's go ahead and sacrifice the seagull. Bye-bye, uh... seagull. Okay, so let's go ahead and go inside this jail cell now. And say hi to Al Capone. Kind of reminds me of Calzone. Al Capone, Calzone. Maybe it's just because I'm hungry. Oh, dude, look. It's another um, 
Triforce chart area. This one didn't take too long to get. Okay, let's go ahead and collect some rupees. Come on, where's the pots with lots of rupees? I want all of the rupees. Oh, come on, green rupees don't give me anything. I want the big money shit. I want the purple rupees and the red rupees. All right, so let's go ahead and play Rin's Weck, 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 Fuck! Rin's Weck, I can't say the word right now for some strange reason. I'm just embarrassing myself now. Okay, so, treasure chest. Oh, it's all spiked. Like all my favorite dildos. I only have, how many spiked dildos do I have? Like, 17? I don't even care, but we got a Triforce chart, and they can get deciphered somewhere. What numbers do we have? Um, we have three, four, five, and six. So we're still missing. We have half the treasure chart. No, submarine chart, go home. You're drunk. So we have half of the Triforce chart so far. Yay! So we have now also 100% of this island. Um, that went by really fast, actually. So let's go ahead and head back to the west and see what's here mapfish what is this place tell me right now tell me bomb island <laughs> all right and we got our treasure chart treasure so let's see what it is this time we're getting a lot of treasure this episode we are such pirates link you are so pirate i bet you're on piratebay.org all the time <gasps> ah! okay that's enough of that and we have 16 heart containers. That means there's only 16 heart pieces left. OMG girl. And also, um, lots of people probably want me to point this out, but <laughs> this island looks like something really funny. It looks like a tadpole. <laughs> that is so silly, Nintendo. It gets me every time. Ooh, tadpoles. What is up with that? Oh, I kind of want to go to that platform first. No, I don't. I changed my mind. I do not want to go to the platform first. <gasps> what are you looking at, sir? Sir? Ho, ho, to think that over there, there will be such a container. What? Oh, he's talking about the submarine, which we actually visited a long time ago. That's where we got our second bottle. So let's go ahead and climb up Bomb Island real fast. Ooh, that skull right there scared me on that raft. Dude, one second. I need to find out what is over here. Because it's kind of bothering me. Like, what's at the end of this bomb's tail? Like, can we just go around this rock? Rock, what are you even doing? Oh! Huh? Okay. I blew up all the rocks on the island looking for a switch of some sort to shut that off. And nothing seemed to work. So, I have no clue how to get past those vines. If you guys want to tell me in the comments how to do that, I would be most grateful. Okay. But under this big rock at top. What? Fuck you, cutscene. Under this big rock up top is a grotto. 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 Banana. Banane. This shit is bananas. V A G A N A S. Switch. What does this do? All right. Open. What? What? How do I? Oh, fuck. Of course. I forgot about this room. All right. Open up your pinchers. Get into a ball, my peasant. There's two of you. You better not mess up my plot. No, 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 sir, sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to go home because you are so drunk right now that it's not even funny. Oh crap, it's this room. Wait, isn't there like a bunch of switches? Or no, there's just one switch. Okay, so what we need to do is find, what the hell? This is why I need to practice. This is why I always practice because I'm really bad at thinking out loud. Okay, so there's probably a thing somewhere, I believe. Maybe it's like way over here. Oh no. Oh shit. There's just a switch. You don't have to put a thing inside of it. At least I don't think so. I hope not. Ugh, it requires you to balance. It's like a tight wire. I remember one time I was at the circus and this one person who was on the tight wire um, actually almost fell off completely. They fell off but they managed to grab back on and the ringleader guy was like, whoa, are you okay? And they were like, yeah, we're fine. He's like, everyone give him a round of applause for not dying. Fuck. Which is something I'm not doing very good of right now. And do I have to press it again? Or is it still... Oh. I should have, like, sacrificed myself instead. That would have been faster for sure. 
Oh crap, I'll have to do both of these. Damn it, the shroom sucks. Okay, open up your mouth. Okay, you're dead, let's throw you inside your hole. This is like the story of my life right here. Kinky shit everywhere. Okay, so that one's down. Let's go ahead and hit you in the eyeball. Dude, if somebody hit me in the eyeball, I would be so mad. Just saying. For some reason, my eyes have been like really red and irrita irritated lately from my contacts. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Okay, can I get up there before they come back to life? I sure can. And from this treasure chest, we win a piece of heart. Look for these to complete the new heart container. So that's our first ones. We have 15 of them left. I'm counting down to the good news. Ouch, my buns are on fire. Okay, and this tower is probably gonna give us something useless. Oh, more useful than most of the stuff we've gotten. All right, fairy, and we have now 100% completed Bomb Island. So thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Wind Waker. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.